माई यूट्यूब फैमिली दिस इज मेलो डी फ्रॉम होम गार्डन एंड फैशन प्लीज वेलकम टू होम गार्डन एंड फैशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वु लाइक टू से थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल एंड प्लीज डू गो टू माई फेसबुक फैन पेज एंड गिव मई लाइक दियर इफ यू हैव एन बीन दियर ऑलरेडी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई आइडिया ऑफ हाउ यू कैन मेक द वर्ल्ड टेस्टीएस केव एंड एज यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम किड्स रियली डोंट लाइक टू ईट दिस केव ग्रीन्स लाइक केव एंड स्पिनर but this kale the way i make it it is so tasty that everybody will fight to finish it up it is so tasty when i make it in my home usually i do not get any because everybody else fights to have this kale so let's see how we make this kale so as i have a bunch of kale and i would advise you not to make a bunch because make two three bunches because it will finish so quickly so you need to separate open and cut it into little pieces as i did this washed it and cut it into little little pieces this little pieces now once you have this little pieces then you need to take a big container and boil water as i'm boiling water so my method is little bit different than anyone else's but this makes the tastiest kale this is just another variation so after the water is boiled you're going to drop all this kale in the water boil water and keep it in the boil water for 5 minutes then you will drain out all the kale in the water and then i'll show you how to cook it So let me first wash it thoroughly and put it in the boil water. So as you see, I put all the kale in the boiling water. Now the kale is going to boil and it's going to cook for about five minutes in the water. And then I'll drain the kale from the water and I'll show you the next step. So while our kale is resting in the boiling water for 5 minutes I'm going to show you the next step since this is going to be peanut with kale so if you have peanut allergy you can just um, get rid of the peanuts and use something else or you can just do without the peanuts so I'm just adding this peanut because it really enhances the taste so I have a little bit of oil about a quarter of a teaspoon oil just to roast the peanut i'm going to just put the peanut on the oil and i'm going to roast this peanut till brown so just roast the peanut till brown while you're kale is soaking in the warm or hot boiling water for about 5 minutes so i'll just go ahead and roast the peanuts while my peanut is roasting i'm going to talk about the spices i will use so for making this tastiest kale in the world you need about 1 teaspoon of olive oil and about a little bit olive oil just to roast the peanuts I use just a little bit olive oil for roasting the peanuts and then for cooking the kale you need 1 tablespoon or teaspoon of olive oil and to that will go about 1 teaspoon of cumin seed about pinch of safotia or quarter of a teaspoon and about 5 6 garlic cloves chopped so once we roast the garlic cumin and safotia then we going to add one well, half to one teaspoon salt depending on your taste half a teaspoon turmeric and half a teaspoon of spiciest curry masala which will have the cracked red chili pepper and another curry masala which is also spicy too so you can use couple of curry masala spiciest because we are trying to make this one really tasty so add the spices according to your taste so i'm going to check the peanut now 
uh, peanut seems like done so when your peanut is done just set it aside and as you see the kale is boiling so I'm going to turn it off it's boiling now I'll drain the water and start the cook so now I drain the kale as you see still green and beautiful but only by putting in the boiling water for five minutes and draining it out it makes the kale really soft and very tasty I don't know what is it that it does to the kale but it makes it really tasty so now our oil is pretty much heated up I added just one teaspoon oil and to that I'm going to add my cumin seed and the asafoetida And while this one cooking, to that one I will add my garlic. So we need to roast all these three nicely. Not burned, but roasted. So we're going to cook this one. Roast this one about five minutes until they're brown. This scale making is very simple yet it comes out extremely tasty. Even your kids will ask for it over and over again. So I have put my heat in very high because I just want to roast this. Now main thing is roasting the garlic properly, that's what gives the taste. So you need to be sure your garlic is golden brown. Human seed is roasted already. So as you see the garlic is pretty much roasted and it's brown now. To this one I'm going to add all the kale. And then I'm going to saute little bit for five minutes and then add all the spices so I'll go ahead and add the spices I'll add my salt and my turmeric and my vegetable masalas the one very hot one with the crust chili paper and I'm going to toss it for five minutes in high heat and then I will cover it and let it cook for five to ten minutes until all the water is dried up in low heat. I want all the water to be dried up and there should be no water. But you have to check it, be sure it's not burned. So as you see it's pretty much wilted. Now I'm going to make the heat low very low 
and cover it and cook it for 5 to 10 minutes. Until all the water is gone and I'll check it quite often. Main thing is not to get it burned. But once the water dried up, then I will take it out. So as you can see, all the water is gone and our kale is done. And to this one, I'm going to add all my peanuts. Penis. So now I'll give you a picture and this is going to be the tastiest cake. As you see there is no water and no oil. It's all dried up but the kale is still very dark green and very yummy. And adding the peanut actually enhances the taste but if you cannot eat peanut that's fine too. You can just eat it without the peanut still is going to be very tasty so I'll give you a picture so as you see our kale is done and the water is dry so this is the yummiest yummiest kale everybody will love 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 